Thanks for joining us for this episode. And before we get started, I want to let you know that if you want to learn more about any guests that we feature on our episodes, you're going to want to check out the show notes to connect with them. And if you want to connect with me and learn more about what we do, head over to mustincrease.com. You'll find all the different ways that you can connect with us and the services that we offer for churches, businesses, and what we do for families and more. Of course, you are going to want to make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you listen to podcasts. Well, I'm very grateful that you've joined us for this episode. My name is Luke Clayton, and welcome to the Must Increase Podcast. Apple does have, they have put out some good stuff and, you know, we can't, you can't keep up with all of it, No, but there's um, no way, there's no way. But, um, my favorite, my favorite show that I have seen in a long time, uh, is an Apple show. Um, Severance, have we talked about Severance? Remind me what it is. Okay. So Severance, it's just this, it's this, and I, I love you know, trippy concept premise movies. I'm all I know, about, yep, you know, Inception's I know, I, I, my all time favorite. You know, yep, that's, that's I know how I, I like roll. That. Severance is, um, the idea is that they develop a technology where they inject this chip into your brain that literally severs your personal life from your professional life. So what happens is once that's embedded into your brain, mm-hmm. when you go to work, it's this top secret place that they that they work. It's kind of interesting that Apple put that out because it's like I feel like that's what <laughs> Apple is. Um, but you go, it's this top secret place. Nobody knows what they're like, what this place does, whatever. Okay. Like, but it's this huge corporation. Anyways, when when the, so when you go to work, you've got that thing in, embedded in your brain. You get on an elevator. You're going up or down to your floor. This tone sounds and it activates work mode. So now you become, you know, okay. work version of you. And you literally cannot remember, and, and while you're work version, you cannot remember anything about your personal life. Really? Uh, and, and so you just exist, like, you just exist there, like, doing your work, get back on the elevator, tone sounds again, boom, back into personal mode. Um, and your personal mode remembers nothing about the work mode. So you're severed. You're completely, okay. so it's, it's what's called severance. It is, it, I think there's nine episodes in the first season. Okay. It it did do really well. It is just one of the best like stories because really? it's this you it turns out that this corporation they work for again you you don't know what they're doing cuz even the job that the you know it features um the the, the star is the guy from uh Parks and Rec, Ben Wyatt, Adam Scott. Okay, yeah. I've seen so, I've seen so, the promo. And there's for a this. little bit like I don't know, they kind of pitched it as a dark comedy, but there's really not a lot of funny. Like it's just a lot of dark. <laughs> if okay. I'm honest. Um, but you know, he's got this whole backstory where his wife died suddenly, and that's why he took this job because he's like, Well, for eight hours a day, oh. I don't exist. Okay, so so they they know that they're they, they they're willingly they doing this. They okay, know it's happening. That's, that's interesting. Yes. Um and so yeah, that was his whole thing. He's like, Well then for eight hours a day. I won't. Right. I won't remember the pain. So there's no you know? standing around the water cooler. My wife. My whatever. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's all no. just okay. That's yeah, but the, very the, interesting. It is, and the work that they're doing at this place is very just like what? Like it's weird. Like okay. they're just. Like, so I mean, don't don't tell me because maybe eventually I'll actually watch it. No, you should. Do they have they given any kind of like reveal like oh this is actually what we do or anything or um, building up to anything no no and that's the thing and and like there's all these theories my theory and this doesn't spoil anything okay my theory is that this 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 corporation is literally like they're just like they're just running human experiments like that's just what they do oh. because you start to see what these different departments do okay and you're like it's so weird you're like huh. What does that, first of all, that's just weird. Right. Secondly, what does that have to do with what this department does? You know, huh. like this guy's main job is like he sits in front of a computer and they call it uh, data refinement. Okay. And he just like, these these little numbers come in and he has to categorize them. It's weird. Like okay. you, you, it's it, it, And they're using like old technology and like, anyway, so it's huh. it, the way, again, I, I'm is, not. Is this an actual docuseries about the yeah. Apple? I mean, like. <laughs> I know. Oh, this is inside Disney or uh, yeah, Apple. Yeah, or... but the way really the way the season ends, I mean, like as things start to so they just finished up one. They just they're just first season, and it 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 finished up 
probably over a year ago. Oh, you know, this oh, is one okay. of those shows that you know they're, they're not coming out with a new season every year. You know, they they wait two or three years in between each season, unfortunately. So really, yeah, that's that, that's that kind a, of a, is that a new thing? That now? is a new thing with these streaming uh, shows that are bigger budget. Like they, oh, you know, that okay. because man, that is crazy. Like like TV is and streaming mm-hmm. series is is really because it used to be back in the day like. If you were a movie actor mm-hmm. who took a TV role, you were taking a step down. Yeah. You know, it was like, oh, you're a has been, you're washed up, like whatever. You're, yeah, I'll put you in a series. And so. now, because I remember that's why, um, you know, talk about The Office, you know, Will, Will Ferrell has that guest. Uh, well, you haven't got there yet. Will Ferrell has a guest run. Sorry to spoil it for you, but a, and where, and where? he has a, he has a guest spot on the office. Will Ferrell does. Oh, oh, oh. sorry, but you're not there yet. <laughs> well, it happens. Um, I won't tell you how or whatever, uh, okay. but. Um, He's only there for like three episodes, okay. and there's this, there's this rumor that he's going to replace Steve Carell, oh, you know, okay. and everybody was like excited, but but it, but back then it was like no, I mean I'm, I make way too much money doing movies. Oh, you know? oh yeah. Now it's almost like no, like you're you're if you're a big name actor, yeah, you're you're looking for a series, you know, yeah. like I mean I, you if you think of like I mean series just hire all these these big name guys you yeah, know and, and yeah. anyways but kind of like you know even 10 years ago like oh you're in a netflix movie oh you're not very good yeah but yeah. now i mean netflix amazon prime like that's where a lot of these people yeah. are actually going because you know yeah. movies sometimes flop and you know whatever so that's, yeah. that's interesting though yeah oh. but yeah severance is, is a good one i highly recommend it like I said, it's nine episodes i'm pretty sure it's nine i'm assuming it's like 45 minute episodes 40, 40, i think maybe the finale might be closer to an hour but okay. yeah maybe maybe 50 to 60 minutes I an episode. Have to check that out. Yeah, yeah. So that's... Dude, I'll, I'll tell you, man, I am in my course. This, this is, okay, this is a whole other kind of a thing. Like, when I sit down, you know, nine o'clock at night, whatever, like, there's sometimes my wife want to watch something, I'm like, oh, that's too intense. Like, I don't want to, me, I like, okay, my shows that I watch, The Office, How I Met Your Mother, mm-hmm. and Castle. Like, yeah. those are my three shows uh-huh. because I know all of them. I know, even though I know what's going to happen, like, it relaxes me. It's like, oh, this is funny the, yep. for the 50th time, you know, yep. whatever. So there's some times where it's, like, certain shows, like, I cannot watch this right before I go to bed. Just can't do it. Yeah. Just, so yeah. some of the, sometimes some shows, like, I really want to watch it. But when am I going to watch it? I'm not going to watch it like you know, two in the afternoon. I'm going to sit here to watch it. So yeah. it's like, I'm not yeah. going to do that. I don't know. So it's kind of Yeah, a, that, that is my thing is, you know, for – when I was, I guess, a younger man in my 20s, yeah. that's what I did is I would watch new shows in bed at night. Right. And now that I'm old, I'm <laughs> I'm starting to, I can't stay awake. <laughs> Dude, I, I'll tell you, man. I mean, my, my normal routine is I'm up at 5, 45, 6, 6 at the latest every day. And if I can make it till 10 before I go to bed, I mean, like, like sometimes it's like, it's like 9, 45, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that's it's my weird. thing is, like, I, I just, I am, I'm like, if I want to start a new show or if I want to, like, a show I haven't seen that I'm interested, I've got to find, I don't know, like, I'm trying to figure this out, to be honest with you. Like, yeah. I've got to make, I've got to intentionally <laughs> schedule time for it and yeah. be like, okay, I'm going to start it before, you know, I'm going to start it, you know, between six and seven o'clock and I'll watch a, an episode or two. Sure. Uh, because, yeah, if I just try to wait till <laughs> I go to bed, it's like, start yeah. it. I'm out. Right. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. So that's why, yeah, for me, The Office, I'm just putting it on because I've seen it. It's funny. It puts me in a good mood. Puts sure. Me sleep, you know? For sure. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's because uh, there was um, uh, a Ted Lasso. Have you heard of Ted Lasso? Yeah. That's that's another one on Apple. So they just, okay. they've just they just started releasing season three. So okay. I've, I've started to watch. I've just seen the first episode. Okay. And the second first, first episode of season three was pretty good. Second whole second season of Ted Lasso was kind of meh. First season was great. What's but, the main premise of that? Uh, it's a, it's built. It's funny because it's they built a whole show off of like a one-off sketch back in the day that um, oh. somebody did. It was, it's so the the idea is this that a British soccer team hires an American football. Oh coach. yes, I did see that. And Jason this. Sudeikis yes, is, yes, is, yes. is Ted Lasso, and he doesn't know. He, I mean, literally, the man knows nothing. Okay. And like she, like it's the the Hold backstory. I, I saw I saw the I saw the promo for this. Remind me who the main guy is. Like, what else is he playing? Because I know who he is. Um, He's from SNL. Jason Sudeikis. He used to be on SNL. Uh, the Millers. Did you ever see the Millers? Um, Okay. Uh, you yep. know if you saw I know him. His face. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was but uh, yeah. So he's and the the backstory is that the um, the the owner of this British football team like there's this divorce going on uh, and the the wife like that's the one thing she's able to take 
from her ex-husband oh, is this, it, and, oh, I, and okay. it's the one thing he loved the most. So oh. she takes full control of the sure. team and she wants to, she, her, her, her goal is to sabotage it. So, oh. so to, 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 to stick it to him, she hires this, this random guy, this American football coach who okay. was like, and he wasn't even coaching. I think he was coaching like okay, low so level I, college I, I, or something okay, like so that. So I'm assuming I haven't seen it, but I'm assuming when you say football means actual American football, American football. to coach a Football. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. The guy that... knows nothing about soccer. You know, okay. he's been like I've seen truly. The promo and I think aren't all the, the team just kind of like this guy because the, the team is horrible. Oh yeah, yeah. And then it's, he makes it worse. Yeah, for I mean, a little bit. Okay. It's one of those yeah. things where you know they they hire him and everybody, the team, the fans, everybody's like what like this, okay. and they're they're ticked about it. And um, but it, it turns out it's just a feel good type of show. Like okay. there's just a lot of you know. Um, I guess like it's, like it's it is funny. It has funny moments, and Sudeikis' character is very uh, the Ted Lasso character. He's okay. very positive. He's very upbeat. Sure. He, and he and he says all these little one liners, you know, like um, and all that. So it's it's just a, a good feel good show. And like I said, the second season wasn't near as as uh, okay, good yep. as the first. Yeah. But the third season, I mean, I'm only one episode in. I, I did like the first episode of the third season. Um, and so, yeah, that's, speaking of Apple. And that, and that, okay, that's Apple. Yeah. That's only Apple TV. Yeah. Plus. Okay. I'm trying to think of anything else I've watched on. I, I, I watched uh, The Morning Show. Did you watch The Morning Show? Without Jennifer there? Yeah. I never did. I heard it was, because that was one of their very first things. That was like their big one. Like Because that's, yeah. got, that's got um, Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, a couple other. Okay, I forgot uh, Reese was on that too. Um, yeah, so that's kind of their two big headliners i guess oh. my wife talked to reese the other day by the way oh really oh, yeah. at the golf course yeah oh yeah yeah she's always, yeah. always uh uh donald trump walked through the office a couple days ago he was she, he was playing golf with kid rock couple, really? yeah true true story yeah, yeah yeah every they're probably there every every four or five weeks really? they always, yeah it's kind yeah. of their standing thing i that's, don't know that's uh, did she it's, has she ever interacted with trump no yeah no but she hung, hung out with reese huh yeah, her and reese well, she now. talked to her for a second yeah. yeah i thought that was really cool but <laughs> yeah. uh, no, i don't know if i ever told you the first time that she met uh or didn't meet him but she's just sitting there in the office working and this guy in a suit comes in you know the whole decked out she goes man he's, he goes ma'am hey just step over here we're gonna bring a president through here and it was just like what? Because she didn't know he was there the very oh, first time. Oh, okay, wow. And all of a sudden, he walks through with his white shirt and his red hat, she goes... Wow. It was just really cool. Yeah, yeah. I was like, well, no way. You, you and me both have worked in the past just as a side gig, the, the catering gig. Oh, yeah. Their flavor ca- Shout out Flavor Catering. Flavor you know? Catering. Flavor Catering, yeah. natural. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I didn't do it much, but, mm-hmm. you know, when they needed help, like like New Year's Eve, they always need a lot oh, of help. Oh, yeah. So Nashville has, I don't know, man, like it's it's not, I think it's the second biggest behind New York. It's becoming pretty big. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it pretty is. big. It is. Um, which, by the way, there's going to be half a million people in Nashville this weekend. So for what Taylor Swift is filling Nissan oh, three times. Yes. Okay. 180,000 people alone are coming for Taylor I, Swift. I heard it was twice. I heard it was a Friday, Saturday. It's, it's three. It's oh. tonight, for, okay. which is a Friday, okay. Saturday, I, Sunday. I work part time with a firefighter and he's actually going to be there. And he was telling me all the stuff that they go through for every show at Nissan. Yeah. But especially this one, I mean, they were talking about like the snipers they bring in, yep. all these people they got to have on, you know, and within the proximity, it was just like, this yeah. is crazy. Yeah. I mean, but I, I, I did hear you can't book a hotel, you can't anywhere no. in the city right it's, now. It's, it's just... not just her, she's got. She's, oh, she's got somebody big that's coming she's in. She's got her, that. Somebody's somebody's at uh, the Ryman. Okay. Uh, there's somebody else was at Bridgestone. I saw it. There was like a photo of everything going on. There's a there's a Nashville soccer game. Oh, okay. which is pennies compared to everything else going oh, on. Oh yeah. Um, but it is just and it's Cinco de Mayo weekend, so that that's contributing to it. Happy Cinco wow. de Mayo, by the way. Uh, that's sure. that's what we're recording. Sure. Um, people are gonna listen to this in like 2025. And yeah. Like, Why? What? What's going on here? We'll get some gays <laughs> though. <laughs> but um, but uh, anyways, um, what, what was it? Oh, the man! I totally, we totally, really chased that rabbit there. Where was I? I was talking about oh, flavor catering. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. So we um, we uh, we they do this big uh, New Year's Eve mm-hmm. thing, and the this catering company is always just begging for help because nobody wants to work on New Year's Eve. Oh, right, sure. Uh, but they pay really good. They mm-hmm. pay like time and a half. And so, uh, you know, I did it a couple times. Well, the the big headliner at the New Year's Eve has always been historically Keith Urban. Like, oh, always. you know, it's always almost, his thing. Always. And he's married to Nicole Kidman. So, you know, one one year, yeah, I got assigned to work like their, their tent. So, I, <laughs> and, and so it was like, but here's the thing about Nicole Kidman. I don't know if she was like, Another thing about actors, they're always doing things physically to prepare for roles. She was deathly skinny. Like, it was 
she just looked like a walking skeleton. Really? Like, you know, you know, I, 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 I was probably just me to you. Like, I mean, I didn't talk to her. I just kind of yeah. walked by. I was just like, you look like you could, you could <laughs> see like cheekbones and like, no you know, way. she had like this kind of like, like, like deep backless dress going on. You could see like her spine. It was, it was really weird. So wow. just, I don't know. Hope, hope you're doing all right, Nicole. Hope you put some weight on. <laughs> yeah, when you listen to this later, Nicole, <laughs> we're pulling for you. Get a steak or something. I don't know how we got on that. Oh, wow, you're, that was, that you're, was a your wife. Your, your wife met Reese Witherspoon. Oh, we're talking about the morning show. Yeah, that was yeah, it. Okay, yeah. So back I, to that. Back to that. I went off the path. You went off the oh, yeah. woods. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so uh, the, the morning show is. First of all, if there's a, I'm just, I do have to give this massive disclaimer. Of course, a lot of what we've talked about would fit this, but the morning show has an insane amount of language. Insane. Oh, really? Yeah. Cause it's, you know, the thing about the morning show is it's, it's just drama. That's all it is. It's just oh. the drama of, you know, the new work in this morning news network. Okay. And so I, I will give that huge disclaimer. Like don't watch it with your kids. Right. Um, other than that, I mean, it's clean, if you will. Like, it's not like there's crazy other, like, right. sexual content or anything yeah. like that. It's just, anyways. But uh, the first season, it, it's, like, again, it's very high energy. There's, a, you know, it's just, okay. like, all the, like, you think about, you know, what it must take to put on, you know, any oh. live show. Oh, yeah, but, you know, there. Yeah. yeah, so it's very high energy, a lot of, lot of stuff going on. Um, so they they just they keep that sense of energy throughout the whole show. So okay. the first the first episode or the first season rather is pretty good. The second season was garbage. The really? second season um, they made it all about COVID. So oh. like that was literally their storyline sure. was okay. We are going to do this fictionalized version of how this news network reacted to COVID as far oh. as like all the changes and the, the lockdowns and everything like that. And it's not. It was a little bit. It's not as woke as you think it would be. Okay. Like it, but it was definitely definitely okay. got their woke elements. Okay. It was just the fact though that it's like, I don't like I don't care. COVID is over. Yeah. Everybody thinks it. Right. Like I don't want to relive this from this fictionalized perspective. Yeah. Um, so I don't and they, they have announced a season three. Um I don't know, man. Like I, okay. I, I don't know. If so I, that still has those three main characters, Steve, Reese, and yeah, yeah. Okay. And and Steve, Steve Carell's role isn't quite as big in the second season. Well, actually, I take that back. It, it, it is, it is, because okay. that's the whole thing. Is like Steve Carell plays. Remember, remember Matt Lauer from um, um, the Today Show, like Real Life Matt oh, Lauer, oh, like okay. the guy who got canceled back yeah, in the yeah. Me Too movement because he was yeah. fooling around. Yeah. Um, basically, it's kind of like a like a take on that. Like Steve okay. Carell's character is is kind of that guy. Like. Okay. He's, he's just a little too handsy, sure. and he gets fired, okay. you know, all of a sudden for that. And so the show, and that happens at the begin, like by the really by the time the show starts, that's already happened. Okay, it, that's really what kind of sets everything in motion is is dealing with the fallout of that. Okay, and so that's 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 Steve Carell's whole role is just huh. dealing with the aftermath of of all this. Okay. And so the second season kind of takes that into another another level. So interesting. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, you know what's really sad is we've talked about a lot of good things, and I'm over here sitting like, okay. I could probably pick one of these shows to actually watch. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, there's so many, and, you know, I don't know, there's so many, so many times where, like, you know, comedians and Jim Gaffigan talks about, like, I don't think I can keep up with all this yeah. stuff. Like, <laughs> oh, really and you can't. can't. So it's kind of like, what do, you, what do you pick to actually like and watch? And, yeah, yeah. You know, it's kind of hard. And that's, that's become my thing, and that's why I, I well, of course, my, my, at the time of recording here, my daughter's getting ready to graduate kindergarten, hard to believe. Oh, wow, yeah, but, that's true. But uh, so summer's coming, and that means that I'm, I'm going to have, because that's been my thing, like I said, I love hitting a movie in the afternoons every once in a while, but when a lot of times I got to get my daughter from school. Well, so we used to hit the to... old two o'clock. Yeah, yeah, you movie. get the five dollar discount yeah, or whatever. We yeah, we used to do that quite a bit. But yeah. um, but now that she's uh, now that she's you know going to be done, and there's going to be summer break and stuff. I'm not going to have to worry about picking her from school. I'm like, well, I'm hoping I'll get to go back a little bit more to the mm -hmm. movies and everything. Because there, um, there's some good stuff coming out. Yeah, it, it looks like there's some. I, again, I'm not setting my hopes super high for no, no, Mission no, no. Impossible, though. I will say, man, the next Mission Impossible that's movie, right. that's in July. And, that's right. Oh, Nolan's next movie comes out this summer. Okay. Oppenheimer. Well, that you and be... I will definitely be seeing yes, the Mission yes. Impossible. In we'll, the, uh, we'll, be, we'll be checking those we'll out. Do but, that. So I am hoping. To, but that's my thing is I, I am getting to where I would. I would just. I, I had my time, like I said, when, when I was a much younger man. 
um, when I could maybe commit to more TV series or whatever. Mm -hmm. But now I really am. I'm like, you know, I just I just want to watch movies because there's it, it's very low commitment. Like, yeah. Even if they are way too long sometimes. Yeah. Like I'd rather take three hours or ish, you know, two and a half hours, right. watch this movie, and then I'm done with it until maybe they sequel sure. it, you know? Sure. So that's 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 been my thing. But, but I do have to give some, uh, speaking of uh, movies that totally missed the mark, we're gonna continue the next part of the conversation in the next episode. Thanks so much for joining us for this episode. And do take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you may listen to podcasts. You can connect with us online and learn about all that we do for churches, businesses, families, and more at mustincrease.com. We want to thank you so much for joining us for this episode, and we look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to increase truth and inspire hope in the lives of others right here on the Must Increase podcast.